Good morning, everyone. My name is Sherelle Winters. I am here in Atlanta, Georgia at Sonoma Ridge Apartments. And today we're gonna to talk about social media and safety awareness. Um, I did go ahead and put the link in the description. So go ahead and click the link uh, at the end of the video and let me know that you watched or send me a message, let me know what's going on. So this um, discussion is gonna be kind of twofold. Uh, with social media and then dealing with security of your social media. So we'll start first with passwords. Your passwords for security. You always want to create a very strong password or a strong uh, passphrase. Um, something that's uh, memorable, important to you, but not easy enough for other people to figure out. If you do have several social media platforms that you use, whether it's Facebook, Snapchat, uh, Instagram, TikTok, make sure that you use a different password or a different passphrase for each uh, social media platform. Always be sure to follow through and set up your security questions. Uh, again, make it you know something that is known to you but not easily known to others. Or sometimes what I do is I'll switch up. You know, if it says what city were you born in, I'll choose a city that my parent was born in. But of course, you have to remember something like that. So um, you can always make a note to yourself somewhere. But uh, make sure that you you do follow through and set up your security questions. It also helps you to reset your password in the event that you forget it. Um, Another thing, if you have the opportunity, you can always use a multi-factor login instead of just saving the password and immediately going to your social media platform. If you are using a smartphone, and most of us are, uh, be sure that you lock your phone and protect your social media accounts as well as other uh, important or sensitive information that you have stored in your phone. So moving on to social media, um, there are just a few tips that I wanna share the first one, um, pretty important. Uh, well, actually, let me back up for a second. Social media is a great way to keep in touch with family, friends. It's a great way to reconnect with uh, people um, that you may have not spoken to a long time, classmates, old colleagues. Um, but for all, all of us around, you know, the world, it's easy for us to keep in contact with loved ones. My fiance is in the military and sometimes he has to go off to training. So it's a great way for us to keep in touch if we're unable to FaceTime or anything else. We can use a different uh, platform to speak to one another. Um, so number one, only accept friends or requests or friend requests from people that you know. You always want to be selective with your friends, your colleagues, employers, and sometimes even your family members. <laughs> Uh, so, again, be selective of the friends that you, uh, friend requests that you accept or be careful who you follow. You want to make sure that you follow people that you know, um, that you're comfortable with. Uh, it helps you to, to protect you from spammers, stalkers, hackers, uh, identity thieves, uh, data breachers, uh, pedophiles. Overall, it reduces your online risk. Number two. You want to click links with caution. Um, first rule of thumb, if you don't recognize it, don't click on it. If you don't know it, you don't want to open yourself up to, you know, depending on what type of device you're using, you don't want to open yourself up to any risk, um, any viruses, any malware, anything that would infect your device. Just delete it altogether. Uh, this reduces your exposure to inappropriate content as well. Um, for parents, it's very important that um, you use any uh, parental controls that are available to you. If your uh, child is under a certain age, um, you always want to monitor your child's online activity. Always pay attention to your child's behavior as well and their disposition. I'm not sure if you're aware, but parents, there is a lot of cyberbullying going on and I will share some statistics with you. Um, it says that 88% of teens have seen some mean or cruelty done to another person on any social media or social networking site. 41% of teens has had a negative experience as a result of using a social networking site. And 22% of teens have lost friendships with someone due to actions on a social media site. So uh, social media gives a, a great reach to our uh, students and kids today. It's easy for them to contact one another, to bully each other, to say mean and hurtful things uh, when they're not using it responsibly. 
So again, make sure parents, if your student or child is under a certain age, that you are using your parental controls and implementing safety features when necessary. And always check the privacy settings as just a best practice. A um, Couple of other things before we go. You want to avoid crossing your personal and private information uh, on social media. Know the boundaries. Um, and this could be for employment purposes, uh, jobs. I'm sure employers are not necessarily supposed to look, but sometimes they do take a peek. So sharing certain opinions or certain photos could really leave you vulnerable to different things. So again, another way or best rule of thumb is to make your, uh, make your page private or remove certain pictures or certain things um, that wouldn't leave you open or vulnerable either to discrimination or um, to set yourself up to be hurt. I mean, we can see uh, social media today, um, how it's, uh, you know, Twitter, Facebook, they'll ban you or they'll cut content or uh, some of your posts they'll take away. Um, six, another thing, review your, uh, your photos before you actually post them. And this kind of go, goes hand in hand with posting your location. Give me just a moment, I'm sorry. <clears throat> you always wanna make sure that uh, any pictures that you post are not inappropriate, um, you know, for privacy reasons, um, you know, something that doesn't come back to haunt you later. Uh, you just wanna be socially responsible on social media. Posting your location can leave you open and vulnerable to someone who may be watching you or stalking you. Again, that goes along with uh, changing or updating your privacy settings, knowing who's following you or who you are friends with. Um, another rule of thumb, don't engage in shady conversations. Hey, if you don't speak to some people at the gas station or at a grocery store, it's the same thing online. Don't engage in shady conversation with people that you do not know. You may be opening yourself up um, for anything. Uh, you know, people like to post pictures uh, during the holidays or when they travel. Uh, you can always post pictures after the fact. Uh, I know a lot of people like to go live as well, but um, just make sure what you're posting is safe for you and your family and that your minors are posting things that are socially responsible as well. Thanks for joining me. Have a good one.